Hey everyone, this is Andy from Giz China, and today we're looking at the ZUK Z1 direct from Shenzhen. Now, if you've been following the news, you'll already know that ZUK are a new startup, a new phone brand from China, and they're supported by Lenovo. So, Lenovo, the phone maker and the owner of Motorola, have actually invested in ZUK to produce a new smartphone brand. Already we've seen the ZUK Z1 launch in China, that was a few weeks ago here in China, but tomorrow they'll be launching a non-Chinese model version of this phone. I'm not sure if it's going to be a European release, an Indian release, or a full international global release. We'll find out more about that tomorrow. But what I have now is an early preview, hands-on, of this uh, new non-Chinese version of the phone. And as you can see, the packaging is a little bit different to the Chinese model. We've got a longer, wider box, and it also features Lenovo and ZUK branding on here. So ZUK for the international market are relying a little bit on the Lenovo brand to uh, get a bit more of a, a head start so people can recognize them a little bit faster. Also on the rear, we've got English writing on there. We've got a few details about what networks the ZUK Z1 supports, but I'm going to write all that up on Giz China so you can read it all. You don't need to listen to me rattle off all those frequencies. Okay, so the box is a little bit different, but what's inside the box is pretty similar to what we've already seen. We've got the ZUK Z1 flagship smartphone. It's the first phone from this new brand, this Lenovo back brand. It's a 5.5 inch full HD phone with a Snapdragon 801 processor and three gigabytes of RAM. I'm going to go through the ZUK Z1 full hardware and I'll show you the phone in action in a moment. Let's see what else is in the packaging first though. So we just flip this out of the way, pop that there. Okay, you can see underneath the phone we've got a few more boxes. We've got an EU charger here. This is a fast charger for the built-in 4100 mAh battery. If I just pop this out. So an EU standard charger there. ZUK written on it. That's a fast charger for the 4100 mAh battery. This packet contains a Type-C USB cable. Now the ZUK Z1 has USB Type-C 3.0 so we should see some pretty fast transfer rate of information and your documents and whatnot. Not, not just fast charging. And we've also got this little SIM tray removal tool and also in here We've got a ZUK quick start guide and a warranty card, which is all in English too. All right, so that's what's inside the packaging. Let's take a look at the phone itself. All right, so the ZUK Z1, as already mentioned, is a 5.5 inch full HD phone. Um, size wise, it's a little bit longer than other 5.5 inch phones that we've seen at the moment. Um, part of that reason is this physical home button, but also the gap between the bottom of the screen and the button is quite large too. In a moment I'll bring a few other phones in as a size comparison. But let's take a look at other details of the ZUK Z1 first. So it appears to have quite narrow bezels, but there is a black border around this 5.5 inch Full HD display. It's not as quite a, a larger a border that we've seen in other devices, but there is a little bit of a black border around the screen. We've got a front-facing 5 megapixel camera there and a receiver there for calls, obviously. On the rear, 30 megapixel camera with OIS. We've got a dual-tone LED flash on the rear and ZUK branding on there too. I'm not entirely sure if this rear panel comes off. There's no area where you can get your thumbnail in or a tool in there to pull it off. But there may be a way of getting it off to replace it with um, you know, different colored panels or whatever. Around the edges, we've got this aluminium chassis. Looks a little bit like the iPhone 6 chassis. It's a, you know, it's, a, it's a design that a lot of Chinese phone companies are using. It's a rounded aluminium chassis with a nice bezeled edge toward the screen and the rear panel. It's very, very well made. It looks very nice and it feels great in the hand. Got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack in the top. Power button and volume rocker on the right hand side. We've got a speaker, a microphone plus USB type C in the base. And on the left hand side we've got this SIM tray which is for your dual SIM cards. Um, there's 64 gigabytes of internal memory on the phone um, so there's no micro SD support that I'm aware of but I will just double check that in a moment. Also inside here we've got 3 gigabytes of RAM Snapdragon 801 running at 2.5 gigahertz. So uh, you know pretty good specs. Um, even though it has a Snapdragon 801 it's a quite a nippy device. 
I mean, I've never had an issue with an 801 processor. It's always been quite good. It doesn't overheat. It's very fast, uh, very stable, and has great GPS. So actually, I'm quite happy that ZUK have opted for that processor on the Z1. Okay, now, this being, although it is the international version of the phone, it does, this early model has uh, the Chinese ROM on here, which is called ZUI. Now, uh, it does have English on this, so you can use it, it's not an issue, there's English and Chinese language on there, but just like many other Chinese ROMs, there's no Google Play support or Google services in here. I've not tried to install Google on it, so I'm not sure just how easy or difficult it might be. It might be a really simple installation or it might be a bit more in-depth but I will try that out but I do know tomorrow at the official launch we're going to learn more about the international or European or whatever they want to call it ROM for this phone and uh, it should be quite a nice surprise uh, unless you've been following the news of course and you know what the rumors are saying all right so the Z ZUK ZUI if we head into the settings you can see it's pretty much like any other Android ROM and you can see flipping up and down, there's no lag or anything. Really nice and fast. We'll just go to about the phone. ZUK Z1, 64 gigabytes of internal memory. There's 53 gigabytes remaining, so plenty of room on there for photos. I've already been taking a few photos with it, so that will take some room up. Running a 2.5 gigahertz processor, as already mentioned. And as you can see, we've got this home button that if I just hit it, it'll take me back all the way to the front screen. Um, this little home button also has a fingerprint scanner in there, which I've not quite set up just yet. I've just not had time to do that. But it also features something called U-Touch. So basically, any application that you've got running in the background will uh, be easily accessed from this Z-Touch button. So what we can do from the home screen, we can swipe to the left or right. Sorry, if I open an app, sorry. From that application, if I want to open another app, I can swipe to the left and go into the settings. We chat. So these are all applications that I've been running in the background. And just swiping left or right will bring them back up. Go back again. It's a really, really neat, very fast and smooth operation. They've really, really well got this optimized really well on the ZUK Z1. Uh, if I hit, hit down, swipe down, that will take me back to the home button. But it'll also take you back one step too. So for example, if I take a photo and I take a look at that photo in the gallery and I want to go back to the camera you swipe down there we go you have to hit it right and down again will take you home or just a simple one press will take you back as well so this Z U this uh, U-Touch button has a few nice gesture features left and right to go between apps down to go back and hit it to go back to home which uh, is pretty cool I quite like that also, from the home screen, we can swipe up to get to our vol uh, sorry volume, our brightness control and toggles. And as usual, we've got our notifications in the top if there were any. So there you go. That's the ZUK Z1 the, and the ZUI interface. The camera itself is pretty good. It's not bad. It, last night, I posted some uh, night shots taken with the camera, and they were all right. They weren't bad compared to, for example, the OnePlus 2, the night shots were okay, but the, it is better than the LeTV Low One. Here's some photos that I was taking today around the uh, the hotel gardens. So the, the photos are pretty nice. It's a very, very fast camera. It's quite a detailed camera too. But remember, this is not the final ROM for the phone. So we should see some improvements on the speed and optimization. And even in the international ROM, we might see some totally different features altogether. Okay, so if we, there we go, go back or hit it and go home. Before we go, I'm going to show you the ZUK Z1 compared to the OnePlus 2. So let me just pop that down. Let's bring the OnePlus 2 in and also the LeTV Low One. You can see that there's a little bit of a size difference between the three phones. So of the three phones, the ZUK Z1 is slightly taller than the other two. Not by much, just by a little bit, but there is uh, maybe around four or five millimeters there difference just at the top here. Uh, width is very, very similar between all three phones. So if I just pick this up and show you a little bit better. So there you go. You can see the OnePlus 2 is, isn't quite as long as the ZUK Z1. And it's also a little bit, I oh know they're about the same thickness, 
They're actually the same, almost the same width, just a few millimeters difference in width. So although it's the same size screen, 5.5 inch, there is a physical difference in size. Interestingly, these three phones, they you know, they go up in price. We've got 1,499, 1,799, and 1,999. They're all pretty good phones, and it would be quite hard to choose between the two. Speed-wise, the LT, uh, the Let TV and the ZUK Z1 are the fastest in terms of using the actual operating system, the Android system. Camera-wise, the uh, OnePlus 2 is better. I've not tried audio on the ZUK Z1 and GPS, so I can't comment on that just yet. Anyway, so that's my first hands-on and unboxing of the ZUK Z1. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll have more ZUK and ZUK Z1 news coming very soon. Thanks for your time. Goodbye.